The year is 1999. Children versions of Mayhem and JJ stand in Mayhem's basement laboratory. JJ is covered in bandages, while Mayhem looks the same as he usually does. Alright JJ, I think this one will finally work. For real Mayhem? Yeah man, I've spent weeks making sure this concoction does its job, and through some trial and error, I'm confident this is the one that will work. It'd be nice to have my face look normal again. Yeah, I never did ask you. But, uh, how'd you fuck up your face this time? You know, it happens so often, I honestly don't remember. Whatever, man. Just rub this all over your face. It should feel smooth and refreshing, just like aloe. JJ puts his hand underneath his bandages and begins to rub the concoction all over his face. Oh man, that does feel like aloe. It's so smooth and hot. Actually, more like burning. Oh, oh. Ow! Oh shit, nigga! This is burning my face! Ow, oh, shit! The concoction literally blows up in JJ's face. Holy shit! JJ, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. My face feels numb and hard. I just had to wear these bandages even longer. Damn it. I really thought I had it this time. Papa Mayhem, who has less gray in his goatee, comes down to investigate. Mayhem, JJ, what was that sound just then? You boys up to trouble? Nah, Papa. I was just experimenting on a concoction that would help fix JJ's face so he could take off his bandages off early. But it ended up blowing up in my face, figuratively speaking, and in JJ's face, literally. I can't feel my face. Ah, I see. You always were a little scientist. That's something your mama and I were always proud about you. So what are you gonna do now? Well, Papa, it didn't work. I guess I could make progress on my idea for a new rap song. It's gonna make Busta Rhymes bust a nut. Mayhem, you could always work on that rap song of yours, but you already promised JJ something to help him out. But I failed, Papa. All great scientists do. But that doesn't mean you should give up. My son, you must always remember to keep your dreams alive. You could still rap if you want to, but you also have to keep your scientist goals alive. A well-balanced individual is what's in store for the future, for this new millennium we're entering. Trust me, son. Keep working on that concoction, or else you'll end up regretting it. Thank you, Papa. Anytime, son. Now stop blowing each other up and have some fun. Papa Mayhem leaves the basement. Damn, Mayhem! Your Papa sure does know how to tell her how it is. I know. It's like my mama always says, JJ. We can always depend on family, nigga. Scene 2 We flash forward to the present day. It's been a month since Mayhem and JJ have paid their rent and they're now being evicted. Boxes are piled around the two as they stand in their living room. Think that's the last one, Mayhem. Good thing your parents are still offering to let us stay with them. I told you you could always depend on family, nigga. Yeah, but you can't depend on finding money for rent. I can't believe we couldn't find another secret agent that needed help, man. Well, you know what they say, JJ. Early to bed, early to rise. If you can't find money for rent, that shit don't fly. What? Who the fuck said that? Mark Twain, bitch. Yeah, I'll get it. It's probably the moving people. Mayhem opens the door to reveal the landlord. <laughs> oh shit, landlord! Hey man, we really don't have time to talk. We're expecting the moving people. Oh, the moving people? They were just here. I told them to get the hell out of Dodge. What? But we needed help moving our stuff. Your time is up, pal. I've given you more than enough chances in the past, and now I want you to get the hell out of here. Come in, boys! Three really muscular men walk through the doorway and begin lifting random boxes and taking them away. What the fuck? That's our stuff! Tell them to stop! Oh, not today, JJ. You guys owe me a lot of money. You forget, but this month's rent isn't the only money you guys owe me. Remember when you guys broke the downstairs mailboxes? Or the time you crashed into my car with a homemade rocket? Or the time you dropped my mother's ashes during the National Wizard of Oz Appreciation Day Parade? Well, I remember all that and more. I'm getting my money from all this shit you own. God damn it, landlord. We have good reasons for all the shit that we did. Let us explain. We're done, JJ. You're never welcome back here unless you got money. Get them out of here, boys. The three muscular men start walking towards Mayhem and JJ with ill intents. Shit! Scene 3. 
Mayhem and JJ stand in front of Mayhem's family house. They look like they were beat up. They each hold one of their moving boxes. <sighs> we made it, Mayhem. Yeah, carrying this stuff all the way to my parents' house was hard as shit. I still can't believe we were able to get these from those large motherfuckers. The power of the ice cream truck, nigga. Yeah, what an obscure thing to say. Anyway, I better knock, I suppose. All of a sudden, Bookworm opens the door. I saw you. I saw you, Mayhem. I saw you, JJ. Papa Mayhem steps in front of Bookworm. Not now, son. Mayhem, JJ, come in, boys. Papa Mayhem, JJ, and Mayhem walk down to the basement. An air mattress has been made up for the two of them. I know it's not much, but it was the only room we had available. Plus, all your old stuff is down here. The lab equipment, and even your old recording stuff. This is perfect, Papa. Besides, we're only going to crash here for a little bit. We got to share a bed. Beggars can't be choosers, JJ. Well, you boys are welcome to stay here as long as you need. Mama will be home soon, and I bet she's going to cook us up a storm. Mmm, I hope she makes more of those oatmeal cookies. Yeah, if we could only hope. That's great and all, Papa, but while JJ and I were carrying these heavy boxes over, it got me thinking of a plan that could get us back on top. This is a big one. My final idea that's going to put JJ and I on top of the world. What is it, son? New invention? Are you going to help me finally finish that banjo scale mixer? What you got cooking, bro? Nigga, we're going to become rap superstars. The three all stand in silence. Until... <sighs> Fuck it. Can't get any worse.